Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to episodes 5 and 6 of Sleeping Princess and the Demon Castle, so let's go ahead and get started with episode 5, and 3, 2, 1, go. I think I'm gonna take this off, because this thing... No, I'm gonna leave it on. I mean, okay, has the hero even gotten closer to the Demon King's castle? <laughs> Possibly not. Uh, what the hell? Who? I see a, a, a snake or a snail. A little more like a snake. Oh, that's a doll. Okay. Oh, the female unit. <laughs> Where the hell was the female unit at? <laughs> oh, I guess, you know, because my blanket that I got, the, the bedding and everything. Got that from Amazon. Best thing ever. This thing is soft as fuck. Mm. But yes, very soft. Soft comforter. Soft sheets. Soft pillow. Oh my god, yes. Pillow sheets, yes. Best thing. Because, like, you know, when you are looking for a really good night's sleep you know when you, when you go in your bed or especially you've had a long day of doing whatever and you are tired as fuck and you lay in your bed and you're just like yes and especially like me i am that type of person where i am like my mom thinks i'm crazy when i have the air on and then my fan on at the same time especially when i used to have a fan in my room <laughs> i would be I, I'd be like this and wrapped up in a nice blanket and be like, ah, yes, that felt so good. I'm hot and cold at the same time, but it felt so nice. <laughs> but yeah, my mom thought it was crazy. I'd be like, you, you were so weird. I'm like, no, I'm good. Like, because this feels good. Like, you're the one who's weird. You don't like that. Because like, my mom is the type who, like, who gets cold easily. And then me, I'm... My, I'm really cold. Like, my hands are cold. My, like, mm, ish. And they say, like, because I think it's, you don't eat a lot of iron or something like that and such. So, my mom hates to touch my hands or whatever because my hands will get cold. But when I touch myself, I'm like, nah, I I'm, like, fine. <laughs> so, who are you exactly? <laughs> You sound like Uzuki from Idol Master Cinderella Girl slash Saya from Bunzity and then um What's her face from Princess Connect? Maybe. We we're gonna look that up. Yeah, she really sounds like her. I almost choked, ma'am. I don't think she's in love with the demon, I, you know, or even the hero. She's just in love. That's 
that's who she's in love with. But, you know, not actually, you know, the Demon King. You know, freaking, you know, Belkin. Yes! Ah. Hmm. No, I just think she thinks you're annoying. No. Oh. <laughs> you could, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, God. Ah, uh, yes. Mm -hmm. Girl talk. Oh, she's so cute, but she just don't know what the fuck about to go down. <laughs> I know, I'm sorry, honey. <laughs> She's so cute, though. Hmm? What the? What's going on? You want to have Harpy look for it? Brittle. We, we need soft, smooth, you know. This girl was like, yeah, you know, here, take a bird. You shouldn't have said anything. 
This girl about to climb up on the damn tower again. Jesus Christ. Oh, but it's too late, Harvey. <laughs> you got her. She's going. <laughs> Are we evolving into girls' love now? <laughs> Stop it. Mm hmm Uh huh. You know who else she sounds like? Um, what's her face from Asa Biasa Pussy? <laughs> Not Olivia. You know, the best girl Olivia <laughs> Oh, God. Either Kasumi or what's your face? I don't remember what's your face's name. No, I think she's just napping. That's okay. Girl, what the? Cause you're still gonna use her as a comforter, right? <laughs> oh, he's so fucking cute, right? Because I mean, you don't want that. Awesome job. <laughs> They're not gonna go on the roof and check on that thing, right? <laughs> oh, shit! Our princess, our lovely, lovely princess. Damn, y'all still here?
You're not gonna talk about who's doing that sound. <laughs> Somebody blowing their nose or something. She's bored. See? Oh my god! Ma'am, ma'am. No, he he getting smaller. Mhm. Mm so you literally telling me these big ass scissors, like, okay? <laughs> no. This is a reference to something else, I believe. Yeah, probably. I mean, I would. She about to kill him.
Oh, I like the way it looks. That's like, you know, for me, having one of those beds that are like very round and everything, that's a dream bed. Oh my god. Especially if it rotates. Oh. Uh. I know. Don't she make you want to go to sleep? Like, put her. In some commercials. Excuse me. <laughs> okay. Honestly, having the female unit come in was very interesting. It makes you still wonder where in the world they were for the first four episodes of this series because since she is, you know, stuck in a castle with a whole bunch of guys, <laughs> male demons, of course, you're like, yo, where are the females? Because I, I kind of asked that question to myself I was like silently between episode one and episode two because she is the only female, but now she isn't. I mean, okay, Harpy, whoever she's voiced by, whether that is Uzuki from Idol Magician or the girls, Saya from Bandari, and um, what's her face from Princess Connect, then it would make sense because it sounds a lot like her, um, but it could be somebody else and such because... She also sounds like a whole bunch of different characters as well. But <laughs> the fact that this child, our princess, our Chino, <laughs> our Itsuki, literally, she ain't really go toe to toe with a tree, but you know, honestly, she, she killed a tree. <laughs> Oh, God, I, I thought I would never see the day that that would happen. What? I mean, yeah, the things that she does for her bed. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. See, for me, when it's me and a... You can't see him because he's currently on my bed right now. He's... Laying on the side that I normally sleep on. Okay. Me and Cody are like, well, we'll do this in two ways. There was two different situations. First example is when it was me and my two dogs before both of my two dogs passed away. Having two dogs lay, two small dogs lay in the same bed with you. And especially if it's just you and these two dogs, one would always lay around my boobs and the other one would like to lay like my lower back almost like around my butt and such and so it's super hard for me to move and also get comfortable myself because of the fact is I have to move my dogs and so um my dogs Yana and Kiana would always get super duper upset at me in the middle of the night if I had to move them and such I would have to either pick up one or pick up both so all three of us at like three four o'clock in the morning would be readjusting over like trying to get comfortable all over again and especially if it gets cold and you're all trying to huddle up and everything so I like you know like you would literally look like the letter S one's on this side and the other one's on this side now since it's just me and Cody it's kind of the same thing but I get more room he likes to lay literally in the exact same places as my previous dogs Yanni and Kiana so it's so freaking hilarious because sometimes I feel like um <laughs> This dog acts like my two previous dogs. So, so my mom and I like to make jokes and think that my two dogs, my two previous dogs, like jumped in my new dog. And like, yeah, because he acts so much like both of them and to the point where it's not even funny. And I'm like, did Yana and Kiana get reincarnated in this dog and just find us again in a weird time? I was like, what the frick is going on? But it's so freaking cute because, like, any time when me and him are sleeping together and such, because he, he really likes to cuddle. 
really likes to cuddle, no matter what, if there's a blanket or not. He loves fucking cuddling. So I could just be laying down for a moment, and he just, like, comes up, and he'll, like, just sit around, and then he'll go like this, and then just plop down. And be like, oh, you are such a cute little thing. I love you so much. But then sometimes it gets so freaking annoying when it's like, I need you to move. And they look at you with this face, like, what the fuck are you talking about? Like, I am not moving. I'm comfortable, too. And such. It is so annoying. But, like, I, I can't imagine if, if the princess had, had like, like, a whole bunch of things, things or teddy bears, bears um, on the bed and trying to get comfortable. I mean, yeah, thank God Harpy came in, you know, at the right time that she did. And Harpy helped <laughs> bad and such but then a day later she was like i don't like this this isn't comfortable anymore that no like <laughs> the wool is all worn out <laughs> it's just, she was like no this, this it's a no for me we're not trying this anymore like no but <laughs> It was cute. I mean, honestly, heck, I, I hated the fact that, you know, the demon came once his face, you know, kind of really made our, our, our lovely princess sad because, of course, you know, she's bored. What else can she do? She's stuck in a castle. Who knows how long it's been since she's been stuck in this castle. What else is she supposed to do? I mean, yes, every single week of how long I've been watching this series. She always has, like, different adventures and stuff like that. But, yeah, there's just going to be a day where she's bored and it's like, hmm, what the fuck should I do today? Like, I don't know. But <laughs> it was adorable just, you know, like, spying on her and then, like, her, like, wanting to touch the fucking Batman. Look at, like, fucking Chino. Like, <laughs> I can't. Like, stop. If they don't make a figure of this character, I'm... I'm suing. <laughs> I will literally write to a company, make this child into a figure, I will buy it. Because your girl is still trying to get a damn Chino figure from Izzy Order Rabbit. And the one that I want is like, I think, two, a hundred or two hundred dollars. And it's so fucking pretty. But I'm like, <laughs> oh my God. It's like I, I really want to find something like a little cheaper. But like, I really want the one hundred to two hundred dollar one because it's Chino and she best girl. But if they had an Aoyama Blue Mountain figure, then you know your girl would buy that too. But unfortunately, they don't. But <laughs> go ahead and pause the video, and I'll see you guys in one second for episode six. Okay, episode six in three, two, one, go. <laughs> Hmm? Are you guys even somewhat close? Oh my god, a three-way split. They're never gonna make it. Police moles? <laughs> well, I mean, that's an easy cleanup. Yeah. yeah. <gasps> oh. I mean, plus, is there also even a laundry room around here? <laughs>
I need to find the full song of this because, like, that song is too good. The ma male's bathroom? Maybe the female's bath? Oh, okay. There we go. Is it going to purify her comforter, though? Well, God... Well, we just found out. She cute. <laughs> Rest in peace. Well, you know, our princess is about to use it. Yep, there we go. Yeah, you know, why don't you guys go check that out right now? Well, she about to use that as a drying rack. <laughs> Why does that thing look like Dr. Eggman? I mean, look at it for a second. Kind of. Oh, well, we about to find out right now. Well, you know, the princess, Gino, of course. Mm, Hestia, oh shit. Well, I mean, it's working. Now, how are you going to make it stop? Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, Demon King, let's go check that out. Mm -hmm. <sighs> oh, and it's nice and warm, too.
so fucking cute. Yeah, I know. That's so mean. No, there's probably something there. It's always the center path. See, look, what the fuck did I tell you? Turn around. Turn around. It's a boulder. Turn around. Turn around. Just go. Yep. Mm -hmm. You always go the middle path. God damn. It's all right. How long has she been gone? Like, was it summer when they got her? Oh. No, you're gonna have to make some. Keep stomach warm. <laughs> oh. Even though we aren't seeing her mom and what she looks like in the front, she's so pretty. Look at her! <laughs> There she goes. <laughs> Underwear. You're writing it down this time?
I know, right? Excuse me. Well, you know, Demon King just being the Demon King. He's probably checking it out, too. But she made several. Oh. Okay. Center. Center. The middle. Uh, are you kidding me? hope so much hope hi daddy I want it so bad I'm gonna buy it I'm gonna buy it I don't know when but I'm gonna buy it your mom's so pretty <laughs> Yeah, I don't think he's ever going to come. Poke, poke. Poke. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, shit. Not like that. You don't want to kill him. Mm-hmm. Um, like, yeah. Well, I mean, you know, Demon King, you know, when you die, you're going to be reincarnated. You'll be fine. I think this is the longest time these two have actually spent time together. 
And then, you know, me inside, I'm freaking fangirling because, you know, hey, it's just Hestia and Belkun on a date. Same thing with Futado and Itsuki. What are you about to do? baby I got you I got you okay what's up yeah mm. no not really well you know different people like different things sir Oh, she scares me even more now. <laughs> oh. And because of that, you're going to fall asleep. Mm -hmm. Of course. Good job, baby. <laughs> but we don't care about the Demon's King. <laughs> Not where you, yeah. You're, you're back at square one. Okay, you okay now? <laughs> I literally left that thing in the middle of nowhere. Come here again, puppy. Come here. Okay, this... episode I don't even know what to say about it. I mean it said everything that it honestly really needed to. This girl I love her so much. <laughs> she made the Demon King fall asleep. Honestly I never would have thought that would have happened but <laughs> She didn't know. She made her own underpants. It's so fucking cute. And it had so many things on it. Oh my god. Oh, Cody. <laughs> Cutie. But yes. 
so freaking adorable. And then seeing her mom in a flashback, instead of hearing her mom, going back and forth between hearing her mom, um, as the narrator of the series was really nice. I mean, I love the moments that she had with her mom. And I kind of hope that with the second half of this series that I'll be finishing in the next few weeks, um, that we do get to get more. I think it was really good because, of course, you're giving me feels to so many other shows that these two have been a part of together. And it's so interesting to see um, how you mean play a mother figure because the only other show that I know currently as of now besides this is um what the freak was the name of that show i i wanted to do a reaction on it but i didn't um because i was busy it's the show with the girl she has like a um she has like a short hairstyle big boobs that has like some type of shirt on it and she wants to be friends with one of her college classmates and such because <laughs> the day <laughs> Because she, her, um, her mom is played by Hayamine, of course. And the funny thing is worse, because that's also freaking Chetty from Idol Lashes and Early Girls, and everybody was looking at me like I was nuts. And I was like, yeah. I was like, go look at that roster, and go look at the voice actress, and see who else she's played. I was like, yeah, our cute, adorable Chetty is playing, you know, big titty child, short child. Yeah, mm-hmm, yeah. But <laughs> I have not watched that show, but I, I just remember, like, when it was airing, everybody had uh, different opinions on it. And, such. and I was just over here. I was like, well, maybe I should wait until the whole entire thing's done and then I'll watch it and voice my opinion. So I don't know. I, like I said, I still haven't watched it yet. But from like clips that I've seen of that show, it seems very funny. But like, yeah. I mean, but yeah. Like seeing like my favorite VA and one of my other favorite VAs. Because the only other thing that these two have done together. Um, besides the other two shows that I've listed, uh, for them, which would be Izzy Go to a Rabbit and Don Machi, it is Pretty Cure. And because of the situation with Pretty Cure, you know, you can't have all the freaking all-stars come back. No, you have to do this, this, that, and the third, and it'd be freaking complicated as F. Um, of course, they were in, like, I think one movie together, playing two different characters and such of Pretty Gear and shit, and the next thing you know, there's like, yeah, we gotta take them out. You know, we can only do three at a time, which was stupid. But, yeah. I mean, I hope we get to see what her mom looks like front face, but honestly, I think when this series is over, I, like, really, I'm say, I've said it once and I'm saying it again, I'm probably gonna have to read this manga series, because, like, it, it's just, the, the art style is my aesthetic and it also gives me feels to like as someone who likes cute things and also creepy things very like similar not too too similar or like 100% similar like I would say maybe 50% similar to like Hana, Hana, Toilet Mount Hanako Kun style but like more cuter and such with like a little bit of creepiness in there because I mean you know any face that you know our princess makes where it turns a little creepy, I'm just like, oh, I'm a little scared right now. But I'm like, no, she looks so freaking cute. Where it, like, adorable as hell. Like, please, like, once again, make a figure of her, because I will buy it. I'm sorry. Like, seriously. Don't don't just stop at, like, yeah, making, like, cute little uh, freaking plushies of, like, that, uh, that seal thing that I want. And them teddy bears. Like, mm, no. You make a figure, because that's where the real money comes in. Not from, you know, plushies and other things. How like I could probably find on the one website that I'm currently looking for merch possibly merch for this series I don't know but like I would buy it you know because I want to get a bulletin board and put all like my merch on there and everything but yeah <laughs> other than that guys that is my reaction view towards episodes 5 and 6 of Sleepy Princess and the Demon Castle if you guys enjoyed it please give me a like it really helps me out also subscribe to my channel I make videos every single day join the Master Squad and of course I will see you guys officially y'all next Wednesday for episodes 7 and 8 bye guys